welcome to my channel thank you so much for stopping by and also a special thanks to my channel members for helping support this channel through difficult times it's time for a charmed aroma video basically charmed aroma sells candles that contain some kind of jewelry on the inside you don't know what it is until you burn the candle and it's kind of in the center with an aluminum like wrap so this is not sponsored i bought four candles during their buy one get one 50 percent off the candles smell good but i'm mostly here for the jewelry so i'm going to show you everything at the time that i'm filming the intro i don't yet know what the jewelry is going to be but we're going to break it down talk about the smells as well and let's get started with the one that i'm currently holding up so i have i bought two Harry Potter ones and two non Harry Potter ones. They also sell not just candles but like bubble bars, lotion with jewelry on the inside. Like they sell a whole lot of stuff, but I was mostly interested in the candles themselves. So the first one is Harry Potter Magical Moments Ring Collection. So this is made with solid 925 sterling silver. It features Harry Potter's glasses on the top. It's very cute. They also have like the golden snitch, which is huge. They have like a mug. There's different versions where there's like reusable tins that, that have a decorative purpose. Um, this one's just plain all white. I really want the love potion. Will I get it? Who knows? But let's talk about smells. I'm not the best at describing these scents. So I do have the fragrance notes ready on my phone. Also, I forgot to mention that you can choose your ring size for this. You have to when you're placing an order. So I am a size six. I would say it's a very light floral scent. It's not very strong like some of the other ones that I've gotten. Okay, so I'll have all of the listings here. Yes, it is a very soft smelling candle the only one that's currently burning is the elephant one which i'm going to show you last that's the one that i gave my mom to start burning right away so yeah this is a very light floral scent here are the notes i like it there are some of the harry potter ones that i recently smelled at the harry potter new york store that are super strong like the house ones they're very much cologne smelling candles which i think is really funny another one that i have here it's a little bit more stronger is this one this is the hogwarts ring collection as well size six same thing you get a different ring there's different options they kind of give you a general idea of what to expect so you're either going to get a hufflepuff slytherin ravenclaw or gryffindor ring with this each house has a different style of ring that you could potentially be getting so this one is ground cinnamon fresh apple cranberry and a hint of vanilla Definitely smell it. It's a little bit stronger than the one we just talked about, the Magical Moments. And then the one that I think smells the least, like, powerful, is my favorite, only because the cup is so cute. So this is one of the ones that comes in something that's reusable. This is a reusable mug. It's shaped like a flamingo. It's one wick. Very sweet but very light like almost barely there but the reason i got this one is because the ring is really beautiful like the ring options it's like opal and opal is one of my favorite stones so i got it but let's see what it is described as a fruity cocktail featuring notes of lush berries and sweet coconut with a splash of bright citrus i definitely smell a little bit of that coconut and the citrus this is eight ounces and it smells great i really like it and i'm excited about the ring let me do some close-ups the last one is the wild and free candle this is from the save the elephants collection so 10 percent of all profits go towards the charity save the elephants uh, which specializes in wildlife conservation the fragrance is sun-dried sandalwood orange blossom and delicate vanilla musk like i said this is the strongest smelling one but again it's a very gentle soft not super in your face scent like some of the house candles that i smelled at harry potter new york they literally gave me an instant headache and that's really weird because i'm not normally sensitive to scents now that we've looked at all the candles i'm going to start burning them give you progress shots as well as the final results so let's get started so now that I've burned all these candles and I've gotten all of my rings, we're going to talk about it. I'm a little disappointed. I didn't get any of the rings that I actually wanted. So you never know what you're going to get. There's always a couple different options per candle, whether it's rings, whether it's necklaces. So I didn't get any of my top picks for any of these candles, but that's something to be expected. Like it just kind of comes with it. It's a risk. You never know. So I'm honestly not crazy about any of the designs that I got, but I'm going to show you and I would love to hear your honest opinions down below. Do you think any of these rings are cute? Worth it? What do you think? Would you buy these candles? Starting off with this one, this is the Hogwarts ring collection. So you get a ring that is designed after your house and you get to choose the house. So it's not a blind one in that way. You know that you're gonna get Ravenclaw if that's what you're choosing, which is what I chose. So the Ravenclaw ring looks like this. This is sterling silver. It's really beautiful. It has two 
beautiful deep blue jewels on it and I do like it it's fine I just think the design of the other rings is a little more prettier of the other houses particularly Gryffindor and Hufflepuff but it's cute it's gorgeous the actual candle itself is fine I have a really big living room so I don't think it filled up as much as I thought it would but again it's not the candles fault because my living room is so ginormous um, this candle is perfect for fall it's very like pine and earthy I've already talked about the notes you know I'm not the best at describing these scents I like it it's fine but it's not my favorite scent next we have the wild and free one which was just a basic candle I think 10% of these profits go to an organization the smell was probably my favorite and probably the strongest out of all the ones I'm talking about it's halfway burned now. Um, all of these rings are always on the side in a little aluminum package. So for the three wick candles, it didn't take very long for me to reach the actual jewelry. Probably like four or five hours of burning, which I guess is a little bit long, but not really. Not compared to the other one I'm going to talk about. So I got a ring for this one that I didn't really like. This was the first one that I got, so I started off instantly with this appointment. I got the one that has elephant ears that are shaped like a bow, and you have the elephant trunk right there. It's cute, but like when you look at the other options I could have potentially have gotten it's not in my favorite like I really wanted the one with like the mama elephant and the baby elephant I thought that would have been so cute but unfortunately I didn't get it these also come with codes so you can get them appraised on the on the charmed aroma website I'd forget to do it for some of them but beautiful ring very simple the candle smells great it's like a floral scent without being too intense there's a little bit of deepness in there now we have the magical moments ring collection Again, packaging is gorgeous you just you can reuse these after you're done burning the candles i've burned more than half of this already again it's always right down on the side this is a very clean kind of lemony very brightening kind of smell it's very spring to me very summer very light and happy and i really like the smell the actual ring that i got was so disappointing i got the harry potter glasses with the lightning bolt i mean it's a beautiful ring for sure but i really wanted the love potion or the luna love good one they just had a bunch of different cute options for this one and i felt like i got the most basic one but again i'm still happy with it i'm really happy with the container i'm probably gonna reuse this for something because the pattern is just so beautiful at the top is really cute as well in terms of smells i think the strongest smelling charmed aroma candles are the three that are special like the golden snitch the cauldron like the dark arts cauldron as well as the headwig i think those are super super strong smelling ones and the packaging is also special with those i have smelled those in person and they are so strong also the butterbeer mug one is incredibly strong as well the others that i think are also really strong smelling candles in a good way would be the house ones so not the one that i got here with the rings there's a necklace version where you can get three different styles of the house colors depending on what house you're in so those are crazy good the hufflepuff is great the slytherin or the ravenclaw ones smell very much like cologne it's a very masculine scent but those are the ones where i feel like if you want a strong smelling candle that's gonna really fill up your room with the scent i think those are stronger smelling than the ones that i got here and the reason i smell those is because they're in stock at the harry potter new york store. least we have the flamingo cup which is supposed to come with like a pink opal-y type of ring and you know how i love opal so i picked it up this is the one where the mug first of all is absolutely adorable i cannot wait to reuse it i love flamingos it's why i picked it up but also the jewel is all the way at the bottom for this one it is not anywhere like the others and it's a single wick candle so it burns so slowly compared to the others so I really kind of lost my patience with it because I wanted to film this video so I just like dug all the way down while the wax was still soft so I kind of ruined the candle a little bit at least aesthetically the ring that I got again not my favorite but it's still better than everything else that I've gotten this one has like five little jewels it's so dainty and cute I thought I liked the other versions a little bit more but at this point I will settle for anything. I think it is so adorable. It's not focusing, so I'm gonna have to include some clips later on. But this is the ring. It's probably my favorite out of all the ones I got. Let me know what you think. Which one do you think is best? So those are my overall thoughts for these candles. I love them. I think they're fun. I think these are excellent, excellent gifts. Because you're getting a candle that smells good, but you're also getting jewelry inside of it. And as a gift, I think that would be a lot of fun. I think not everyone wants to spend $50 or $35 on a candle. But if you're getting it as a gift, it's like different because you're not paying for it. Um, that's always how I think about gifts when it comes to other people. Something that's practical, something that's multi-use, and something that's 
that they wouldn't necessarily treat themselves to so that way you can do it for them and they don't have to spend any actual money on it but that's all i want to say i'm sorry if this video was a little bit scatterbrained i had to film it over the course of a couple of weeks and things have been really stressful in my personal life so i'm just trying to push through as best as i can if you made it to the end once again thank you so much for watching if you liked what you saw don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you very soon with another video so until next time bye